I want to talk to you about why I don't talk about the movements of the hands and the arms in the club and the golf swing. And it's, it's not for some mystical or magical reason. It's because we take care of the movements of the hands and the arms and the club in the golf swing in the setup position. In fact, any golf swing that you make, the movements for the hands and the arms and the club have been predetermined in the setup position. So in the traditional swing, you start with a more neutral grip and you start with your shoulders level and your hips level. Consequently, you have to do a lot of movement to get into a, what would be potentially a more powerful position than what you're starting in. And that movement then is very difficult to do. The problem is, is the movements of your hands and arms have been predetermined by your setup position. So you know this to be true. You've tried to move your hands and arms differently and found no change in the result of the shot other than the, the feeling of discomfort because you're trying something new. And that's because you can't change the movements of your hands and arms until you change the setup position. It's very simple. You know, if, if I set up with my shoulders open, the club is always going to come away to the outside. If I set up, set up with my shoulders closed, the club's always coming away to the inside. Given that very basic premise, you should be able to understand that the entire pivot then grip presets the movements for the club right at the start, so you don't have to worry about the movements for the club. And in fact, if you try and move the club on your own with your version of athleticism, it will not move as fluidly as it would if you just stayed out of the way. And that's another problem that happens in traditional golf. You try and, and create the movements of the swing with your hands and arms and it doesn't produce proper results. And that's because of this. How the hands and arms are controlled isn't by talking to the hands and arms. It's by setting the body in a position that forces the hands and arms to work in a particular manner. Now we preset the body in a position so that the hands and arms will work and give you a descending, circular, and shallow golf swing, which produces powerful, consistent draws. So this is why we preset like that. But this is also why I don't talk about the movements of the hands and arms. Talking about the movements of the hands and arms would be like talking about tires when you're referring to how an internal combustion engine works. Are you going to talk about the tires turning or are you going to talk about how the, the carburation and the, the air and the, and the gas all combine with the spark to start the piston moving? Very different from the tires. The tires on a car are your hands and arms. Their movements have been predetermined by the structure on the inside. So in the golf swing, your hands and arms don't need to be managed. You need to manage the structure. And then you could let your hands and arms go. And you know what? When you let your hands and arms go, they will work better than if you try and govern them. Because then they'll work as the anatomy was meant for them to work. 